I know it's on one of these pages I marked. Uh, this poem is entitled Silver Tooth. It's for my brother. The horizon, a razor, a razor edge line all around where I grew up. Snow scene, you tip over to watch the flakes fly around the tiny village. It was like that exactly in western Nebraska. Big blue sky, vast beyond comprehension, closed the lid over our flat land. He'd come home after he'd left college. A different world only 54 miles to the north with trees, trees everywhere. Rugged hills we'd drive through when I was younger. On our way to somewhere else, always on our way to somewhere else, since where we were was never good enough. Or if it was good enough, it wasn't important enough. Always on our way from where we were to just, or where we were just ordinary into someplace else where we'd be ordinary and lost. A lost crew of explorers jettisoned off into some dark, starless corner of uncharted space or lost right here on Earth, anywhere we went, even South Dakota where we wandered into the Badlands, took a wrong turn, had to be shown the way by an Indian kid parked by the side of the dirt road, drinking beer and smoking, when it was twilight, scared out of our wits, lost on the reservation. That's the way it always was, and at the wheel, Dad cursing, enraged, so angry it was like a wave of heat from hell or something, I don't know. Hot vomit or lava blowing through the air. Mom cool, sitting up there in front, hands in her lap, never speaking a word, which must have made it all the worse for Dad. We'd skid into some shabby motel parking lot, gravel flying. It wasn't the goddamn motel we'd reserved. Where the hell is anything? Where in South Dakota? Where in the goddamn hell is the road to the goddamn motel? So he would come back from college, godlike, almost a god, his silver tooth, his capped silver tooth in front, and get out of the car he had come from, the car that had been somewhere else, had been to college, somewhere important, mysterious. He had been there, and nobody else in our family had been. A miracle, a God-forsaken miracle, and now the wonder God, the oldest son with the silver tooth, the big grin, the big movements, put his arm around my shoulder the first and last time he ever did. Thank you.